Hey movie lovers, I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Make sure you're following the BTS team on social media. All of our links are down below. And before we jump into today's list, I have some exciting news for all my dog lovers out there. I am excited to announce that Universal Pictures Home Entertainment has paired up with Beyond the Screen to give fans an exclusive giveaway of the movie A Dog's Journey on the Blu-ray DVD release which comes out today. Follow the story of a beloved family dog named Bailey who adventures through multiple lives, each filled with love, friendship, and of course belly rubs. To enter this contest all you need to do is head over to our Instagram page at top 10 beyond the screen. Give us a follow and like the contest picture and tag two friends who you would watch this movie with. You can enter the contest until Thursday and we will be announcing our winners on Friday August 23rd. I will be tagging myself because I am a huge dog lover. As for today's list we are talking about some more love stories and spoiler alert some breakups. As kids we all had our favorite Disney stars who we were dying to see together as a real life couple. Let's check out who actually got together with today's list of top 10 Disney actors who fell in love on set. Starting off our list at number 10 is Demi Lovato and Joe Jonas. The pair met on the set of Camp Rock where their characters sang and fell in love, so naturally so did they. Demi openly admits to having a crush on Joe throughout their entire filming process, so she was nothing but thrilled when they got together as a real life couple. In her 2007 documentary called Simply Complicated, Demi revealed that their first kiss was actually on camera and that the relationship only lasted a month or two. We didn't really expect more than that. They were kids. But Joe opened up about the relationship and spoke more seriously on it, saying that Demi struggled with a drug addiction when they were dating, even though she was very young. He confessed that he only stayed with her because he felt like he had to help her. He said, I quote, I really got to know her and got to see the ins and outs of what she was struggling with, like drug abuse. I felt like I needed to take care of her, but at the same time I was living a lie because I wasn't happy but felt like I had to stay in it for her. Joe and Demi both admit that their love was young and short lived, but they still have a lot of love for each other as friends. At number 9 is Thomas Doherty and Dove Cameron who fell in love on the set of a more modern Disney movie Descendants 2. Disney fans watched their real life relationship go from 0 to 100 in the matter of a couple months right in front of their eyes. Fans started speculating on their relationship long before they confirmed it on February 16th 2017. The news didn't really surprise anyone. They have been dating ever since and don't try to hide their love for each other in any way. Just look at their Instagrams. During an interview with Access Hollywood, Dove was asked if she'd ever worked with Thomas again. Again, and she said it didn't matter because he is the love of her life and she's his partner in real life, which is what matters. Currently they are being called the cutest Disney couple there is and yes, at the time of this recording, they are still together. Up next at number 8 is Bella Thorne and Greg Salkin. These two Disney Channel stars have had an on and off relationship throughout the years and it all started on a Disney set. They met on the set when they both appeared on the third season of Wizards of Waverly Place. They admit to having sparks for each other, you know that young puppy love, but they didn't date until they were a little bit older. After falling in love while filming, Bella went on to star on her own show Shake It Up and Greg was cast on Marvel's Runaways. They officially started dating in May 2015 and were together for over a year. They were totally couple goals which is why fans were shocked when they announced that they decided to call it quits. They announced a joint statement to E! News saying, After much thought and soul searching we have made the difficult decision to end our relationship. We will always love each other and have a deep respect for one another as we have each grown to be better people because of our time together. Bella later revealed that there was no animosity between them and tweeted out, Things just didn't end up working the way we had hoped, but I'll always love the bub. They got cozy again for a short period in 2017, but it wasn't anything serious, they fooled us, and they just continued on as friends. Coming in at number 7 is Cole Sprouse and Allison Stoner. I gotta be honest here. I didn't even know they dated. That's probably because they were only like 11 years old when they started dating on the set of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. They met while filming and dated throughout the series. Allison revealed on a podcast that her first crush and first boyfriend ever was Cole. They were young throughout the relationship so their immature breakup isn't all that surprising. Guess how they ended? Through text. Cole sent her a text that simply read, it's not going to work out. Worst part is, he sent the breakup text on her birthday. Real mature Cole. I mean because they were so young this is all just kind of adorable to me. Rumors went around that they had another short fling when they were older but it just didn't seem to work out for them as a couple. She could always try for his twin brother Dylan. Swiping the number 6 spot is Hilary Duff and Aaron Carter. What an iconic duo at the time. We loved watching Hilary practically grow up on her hit Disney Channel series Lizzie McGuire. But one of our favorite moments from the show was when Aaron Carter did a cameo on the show which just so happens to be where the two of them fell in love. How could we ever forget the episode where where they kissed under a mistletoe. My 13 year old self was dying inside. 
actually my 26 year old self still is. The kiss soon led to the two of them dating in real life. They were together for over a year and a half before calling it quits. So, who was to blame for the heartbreaking split? Aaron. He left Hillary for Lindsay Lohan. I am spilling that tea for y'all right now. But these are cold hard facts, you guys. During an interview with Us Weekly back in 2014, Aaron spoke on it. He said, I quote, I started dating Hillary on my 13th birthday. I was dating her for like a year and a half and then I just got a little bored so I went and I started getting to know Lindsay, dating Lindsay. Meanwhile, Hillary has very much moved on and is now happily married with two children. Throughout the years though, Aaron has made comments saying that he will never give up on Hillary and calls her the love of his life. He kept posting these weird and creepy tweets where he declared his love for her, she publicly announced that his comments were making her uncomfortable. So it looks like she will always just be the one that got away. That's what you get for picking Lindsay Lohan. Half of the list at number five is Bridget Mendler and Shane Harper. They were each other's co-stars for years on the Disney show Good Luck Charlie. They openly admit that when they started to film the show together, they really didn't hit it off. They don't have a reason why, they just blame it on the fact that they were 16 when they met and they just didn't click. But two years later, their group of friends started to merge and Bridget says that he was very very persistent when wanting to go out with her, so she agreed to it. After that, the two of them continued to work together and also went on to date for over four years. They seemed as happy as they could be, which is why people were surprised when they ended in 2017. Rumors were going around for a few months, speculating if they were over or not, but then Bridget confirmed it when she told the humor mill, I'm single, so I guess that means I'm undateable. Here we are at number four with Victoria Justice and Cole Sprouse. Apparently Cole got around throughout his time on Disney. But this was just another case of puppy love. The two of them met on the set of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody where Victoria was a guest on one of the episodes. Remember the episode where Cody accidentally enters a beauty pageant after following a girl named Rebecca into the dressing room? And during their pageant time, he became best friends with her? And then he drops out for her so that she can win? There is no way you forget this hilarious and adorable episode. Well, Rebecca was actually played by Victoria Justice and when Cody let her win, she thanked him by giving him a little smooch on the lips. During the filming of this episode, the two of them started to date in real life, as kids of course. And just so you know, this was actually before Cole moved on to Allison Stoner. During an interview for Popstar, she talked about their on-screen kiss, saying it wasn't only their first kiss together, but it was her first kiss ever. And apparently it was filmed in front of a live audience, so it made it that much more uncomfortable. But she also said that even though the relationship didn't last long, they remained friends afterwards. All right guys, at number three is Bradley Stephen Perry and Sabrina Carpenter. Bradley is mostly known for his role on Good Luck Charlie, and she's known for her role on Girl Meets World. They started dating in 2015, and the only reason we found out was because the way he asked her blew up online. He wrote her this adorable note in a bottle. So creative and so cute. All seemed well with the young couple who technically fell in love for being on the set of a Disney Channel interview. We are giving them this honorable mention because they are so cute together. But they didn't work on a show together, but when working with Disney, you're often doing other projects and media stuff together in the same proximity. So I decided. I'm gonna let them on this list. Sadly, their relationship only lasted a short period of time. Neither of them revealed what the exact reasoning was for their split, but it's been said that Sabrina's song, Smoke and Fire, was inspired by the relationship. So she is pulling a Taylor Swift, writing a song about her ex. She's pretty clever for a 19 year old, I gotta say. In spot number two is Miley Cyrus and Nick Jonas. I had mixed emotions when I found out that they were dating. On one hand, I was like super excited because I was shipping them hard for so long, but on the other hand, I was convinced that I was going to marry Nick Jonas, so I was jealous. The two of them met on the set of Miley's show Hannah Montana, where apparently they fell in love on the first day of filming. It was back in 2006 when they met, and Nick's older brother Kevin said, I quote, when he met Miley, I think that kid's head exploded. Apparently they started to date the first day that they met. They did not waste any time. They dated for a year, which brought drama because Selena Gomez also liked Nick at the time. It wasn't a nasty breakup though, and later in 2009, rumors were flying that they might be rekindling their relationship. I was so excited. But unfortunately, it was all just rumors. They remained friends throughout the years, but I'm pretty sure 90% of us Disney fans are still hoping that they will end up together somehow, even though he's married. But she just got separated, so like, you never know. Taking the number one spot on our list is Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron, because how could they not? They were our high school sweetheart inspiration. They met in 2005 on the set of the first high school musical movie where they fell in love and continued to date throughout the three movie series. Their characters, Troy Bolton and Gabriella 
Montez fell in love in the movie, so it wasn't all that surprising when they locked it down off camera. They were going strong for a while, and we thought it would be a true Disney love story. But the two of them split in 2010 after dating for five years. No reason was ever confirmed until later in 2015 when Vanessa opened up about her relationship with Zach during an interview with the New York Times. She said that the relationship ended up making her really mean and would cause her to lash out. She admitted that Zach wasn't the issue, but it was the crazy obsessed girl fan base that he had. I was one of them. She said, I went through a phase when I was really mean because I was so fed up. Girls were running after him and I was giving them death stares. Then I realized that's not what that's about. Spread the love, be a good person. They support you, be nice. There is no doubt that during that time they were very much in love and to this day they both have very positive things to say about one another. Disney has a way of making people fall in love but then ending on good terms. Alright guys, we are at the end here. One more time, I want to give a huge shout out to Universal Pictures for sponsoring today's video and allowing fans a chance to win a dog's journey on Blu-ray DVD. Head over to our Instagram page to enter the contest. How could you not? Look at this face. I'm your host Joss and I will see you next time. Go cute.